I was prepared that it would be polarizing, but it was, it was still was a little bit shocking. I was like, wow, there is still so far to go and people kind of acknowledging eating disorders and acknowledging, uh, you know, women being morally ambiguous about their life. And it felt very personal, the reviews, far more than anything else I'd done. People really had an opinion in a way that was quite revealing of themselves. And I very much lent on Annie Wiseman, and this is her personal story, and she was, her, 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 perspective, if I hope I'm correct in recalling it, was she would want it to be shown how she would want to see it, which was, it's it's kind of everything but that you see about what's happening with her addiction and her eating disorder. And she very much wanted it. it, it she'd never seen it. This is how she would have wanted to see it, it the, I think for someone who's in recovery and for someone who's been through that. So that, that I just trusted her. I can see traces of my own mom in this character. Yeah. And I think a lot of people see their parents, mm. see themselves, mm. see people they knew or experiences they had yep. that are so deeply personal and resonant. Mm -hmm. yes. What have you heard? What has I've been had that great, I mean, I've had, a, interestingly, um, friends who are, who are in recovery from addiction, whether it's drug or alcohol or sex or food or whatever, uh, have reached out to me and gone how much they relate to the inner monologue of an addict and what that is like day to day, minute to minute, and how crushingly kind of overwhelming and de debilitating it is. And that has been really fascinating to me.